the Hubson Xeno Mini Pro drone. There was a lot of speculation and hype for this drone, but everything's gone really quiet all of a sudden. Let's talk about this today. So we have discussed about this drone on the channel before and we're all excited because on paper the spec looks brilliant. The 48 megapixel camera with 6x zoom, 4K30 and then it gets better. You've got 200 apparently megabits per second, a 10 kilometer range, a flight time of 40 minutes, 249 grams, we'll get onto that. And then obviously the front and back sound sensors, obstacle avoidance with some kind of active track. It sounds fantastic doesn't it? But it's the most bizarre build up to any product launch we've ever seen in the last few years of any decent drone that's been marketed they put some photos onto their website so we could see this drone and the controller they've showed us some details of the actual interface and how the app works and we all think and want this drone to be fantastic they then allowed you then to pre-order the drone but without giving it any estimated time and when the drone was going to ship but on the website you could see some spec and details about the drone but they were asking you to put money up front and then just get the drone whenever you know when's it's going to be released but then we had a live stream hopefully to see some more details of the drone the drone flying maybe the obstacle avoidance demos we saw nothing it was let's be frank a terrible live stream the drone actually crashes live on camera as you can see in the bottom left hand corner there into the stand so we didn't get to see anything relating to this drone um, in any of the flying or the sort of spec or anything to do with this aside from these two just giving away 10 apparent drones all the time and then the live stream pretty much ends but from looking at this again it does get worse the 249 grams of this drone is obviously the big highlight but they actually weigh and demonstrate it weighing an iPhone 6 plus on the scale here so let's just have a look at this now so the iPhone 6 Plus is put on the scales and as the camera zooms in we see that the weight of the iPhone 6 Plus is 167.2 grams. So this on paper looks right, they're demonstrating that and then what they're going to do, they're then going to put the drone on and then the drone weighs 249.2 grams. Just remember those numbers there. Now. Let's go on to the official Apple website and we'll just look more about that iPhone 6 Plus. So the iPhone 6 Plus on the official Apple website weighs 172 grams. But on the Hubson scales, it weighs 167.2 grams, which means that's a 4.8 gram difference. They're actually saying it weighs less. This is going to be a big concern and problem because if it's 4.8 grams a difference, that means that the same scales which weighed the Hubson Xeno Mini Pro, 4.8 gram difference would mean that that drone actually weighs 254 grams. Now, Apple on the official website are not going to get that number wrong. So although getting all that technology in this drone to be 254 grams is remarkable and it's fantastic, that does leave a big and quite frank, huge problem for those people who want the drone to be 250 grams or less. For instance, depending on which country you're flying this in, you might not have the same restrictions. You might not need certain qualifications. So if you're wanting this to compare to DJI Mini 2, which is 249 grams or 238 grams is what the actual Mini 2 is, then, you know, this is over. You cannot then fly this in the same areas restriction free. So this is a big deal. So it's very concerning that looking from them scales. But from then, you can still now, and today, go and have a look. You can go on the website and you can go on the main website and then you can just go down to the bottom here, the Xeno Mini Pro, £439 in the UK. And you can select this this comes with one battery it's a 64 gigabyte model again they didn't talk about whether this is built in memory can you put an sd card in or not that wasn't mentioned on the live stream two batteries it's 559 and it goes all the way to 1399 for the thermal version if somebody needs a thermal camera on the drone i don't think police and military will be using this but you never know but that said, you can physically go out and buy this on the website today for a pre-sale. And if we look under pre-sale, it's now saying some details relating to the shipping. So it's saying the estimated time is going to be the beginning of July, which is only a couple of weeks from when this is actually now being recorded. You can also get the thermal version as well towards the end of July. And then you can then click on it and then you can add it to your basket and away you go and check out. What's actually sounding them alarm bells for me 
is that since all this advertisement lead up to this live stream back at the start of June, there has been nothing mentioned on the Hubson official YouTube channel. There's been no videos on there. The live stream is still actually on there if you wish to watch that. If you go onto some of their social media as well, there is nothing at all been updated in relation to any tweets or replies or any normal tweets from Hubson advertising this drone. There's absolutely been nothing. It's as if the whole project has been either put back or cancelled. If there was going to be released in the next couple of weeks, as, as much as they were smashing these advertisements out, you know, building up this live stream, it's what they should do as any marketing company. But there's been nothing since June. But they're saying it's going to be released in the next couple of weeks. I would not go out and pre-order this. If this comes out, then brilliant. I've asked them um, several times and there's been no reply as well the whole thing has gone so quiet what they should have done after that live stream performance they should have done another live stream either a week or a few days later show us the drone show us some of the features and we'll all be really excited about going flying this but everything is just alarm bells sounding i want this drone to be great it'd be fantastic to actually be able to get a drone with all them features built into it in such a small tiny compact package like this but for me, it's just too risky when it's actually out and we can get it tested and flown and you can actually buy it from somewhere where potentially you know it's going to be arriving the next day or the next couple of days. At the moment, you know, you're paying 400 or 500 pound dollars and you just have no clue when you're going to be getting this drone, if at all. So be careful out there. Let me know, guys, the people who have pre-ordered this, have you had any communication from Hubson about when it's actually coming, you know? when you're going to be getting this or have you just been kept in the dark just as much as everybody else because at the moment i really wouldn't advise buying this if it's great i'll tell you it's great but at the moment bit dodgy take care guys what do you think let me know bye bye take care